Vacuum distillation unit or VDU to extract more distillate from the atmospheric distillation unit or ADU or crude distillation unit or CDU. The residual bottom of atmospheric CDU is sent to the vacuum distillation unit. The vacuum unit distillates are classified as following before sending to fluid catalytic cracking or FCC feed hydro treater. The production as a live vacuum gas oil LVGO medium vacuum gas oil or MVGO, and heavy vacuum gas oil or HVGO. Originally, vacuum distillation unit followed closely on this side to the atmospheric unit, except, of course, it operated under the vacuum condition. The vacuum was obtained by two or three states, steam injector, and internal of the tower were a traditional tray, mostly bubble cap type. Under this condition, the vacuum obtained in a fresh zone required the injection of steam to provide the required hydrocarbon partial pressure for adequate vaporization of the feed. The reason why vacuum condition is required is to add the atmospheric condition of the pressure, the flash temperature of the normal residual feed to achieve any meaningful degree of the vaporization would be extremely high, approximate around 408, 490 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the heavy residual will begin to break up and crack. It forms a coke in the extreme and olefin product which may not be desirable to refiner. Effective vaporizer and fractionation can be achieved under at reduced pressure. A reasonable flash temperature should be around 350 to 400 degrees Celsius only. Typical draw temperature of the distillation from a vacuum distillation column. If talk about the LVGO, equivalent boiling range around 385 to 462 the raw temperature under the vacuum just only 276 mvgo draw temperature is 336 hvgo the draw temperature is 356 and vacuum residual is 360 above process description of vacuum distillation unit the below flow diagram shows the flow diagram of the vacuum distillation unit. To control the proper viscosity, flow is heated in a several exchanger by the hot product and pump allow of the vacuum unit. Final heating before entering to distillation column should be between 380 to 415 degrees Celsius by fire heater. And to minimize the thermal cracking and coking, steam shall be injected in the heater tube pass. Normally, the feed is pumped hot directly from the CDU residual stripper to the vacuum unit heater. The feed shall enter the vacuum tower at the lower part of the column. Thereafter, the distillated vapor are condensed in the tower by heat and mass transfer with the cold reflux steam moving down the tower in the same way as the side steam in the CDU. The product are taken off at the appropriate section as LVGO, MVGO, and HVGO and are cooled that either by heat exchanger with colder stream in the CDU or by air cooler. LVGO will be sent to the whisk breaking unit for the production low viscose fuel oils, whereas the MVLO and HVLO also can further strip in additional size stripper by stream to remove the lighter component to adjust the fresh point. The bottom residual from the tower is sent for storage in the asphalting unit. The vacuum condition is produced by steam injector taking the suction from the top of the tower. This injector removes the inert and outer vapor that may exist and pull a vacuum of about a 5 millimercury absolute. The uncondensed vapor from injector is went out through the flash stack. The condensate from these injects are collected in a drum known as a hot well. The oil layer is then sent to the oil water separator vessel. Then the condensate from the hot well and the separator drum are drained to the water collecting system. The component. The vacuum distillation column are equipped with the packing for fractionation and heat exchanger zone. This is in order to reduce the pressure drop in the column which is necessary for creating a low vacuum in the lower section of the column. The tower internal are usually expanded grid tile which offer a low pressure drop such that the fat thrown pressure is about the 25 to 4 mm mercury absolute 
is maintained at top of the column around the 100 and 120 mm mercury at the bottom. System to create a vacuum that's used either ejector or the combination of the ejector and liquid link compressor. Ejector recompress the gas through a nozzle from the column are sucked into the venturi section of the nozzle by steam of the medium. The vapor phase at the ejector axis is partially condensed in the exchanger with cooling water. The liquid phase is then sent to the overhead drum. The vapor phase goes from the condenser to another stage. So this is the basic information of the vacuum distillation unit. And thank you for watching my video. I will discuss about another unit in refinery in next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.